So the other day I had someone message me on Facebook asking for help for how to update their Blair Digital Chanter. So I thought rather than try to explain over text, I would just put this short video together because it might help other people too. So I'll just drive straight in then and the first thing you want to do is head over to blairbagpipes.com and get the necessary uh, software for your computer. So I am on a Mac. Uh, so it's this one here, that's that's what I'd be clicking, but if you're Windows, of course Windows. Uh, so once you've done that, you would then want to have a look at what sort of sound you want. I, I've basically got them all. Uh, the, the, every single one is great. I've got my favourites, but just uh, click on here and it'll download to your computer and that's it. So what you would want to do next is get your Blair Digital Chanter and plug it in. Make sure it's off. I've got mine off. Plug it in and you'll see that it instantly starts to charge. Uh, what you want to do is turn it on. You'll see the, the kind of, uh, little MIDI symbol. That means it's definitely plugged into the computer. And what you want to do is head down to Advanced, then head down to Updater and click on that. Blair Pipe version 1.15, that's what I've got ready for update. So at this point, what you'll want to do is open up your version of the Blair Digital Bagpipes kind of software for your computer. So here's mine, if it'll load up. Here we go. So at this point, you need to add your update files. So here are all of mine here. This is all the stuff that I've downloaded. There's the fine tuning thing that was quite handy that. The vibrato, that's quite good, I think, where was the, I think the vibrato came in that one. So if you want to update the actual firmware, which I don't think many people should actually have to be doing, um, you would, I'm pretty sure you just click on that and that's it. You just want to update with that and then you want to come back to your instruments, otherwise the, the chart goes a bit, a bit funny. So I, I don't need that, so I'm just going to clear that just now. So uh, instrument wise, I'm going to put on my classics now. I definitely want the Illin pipes. The good thing about the Blair software here as well is that it tells you how much space you've got. So, I mean, that Illin pipe thing, that takes up an awful lot, which is almost annoying <laughs> because I would like to have all of them on, but obviously it's just not possible yet. Uh, so, next update thing. I do quite like mm, the Blair D small pipes. They're really epic. I'll definitely take the B-flat Practice Chanter GT. <laughs> Uh, that's got your B flat and high G sharp and all that with a normal low G, so that's quite good for messing about with stuff. What else is good? The do. I think it's do. I hope it's pronounced do. That's good. So at this point, I'm I'm actually slightly worried that I'm going to run out, but I might just try and put the A major bagpipe in. Yes, there we go. Like one percent. You can't make it up. Uh, so that's it. Once you've got your things lined up and you've got the channel definitely plugged in, you want to of course update chanter and then it just starts to, to wipe everything and starts to upload the new sounds that you're wanting. It just takes a second or two. And that's it. The chanter has been successfully updated. Okay. What I then do at this point is, is turn the chanter on again. Blade your chanter. There you go. And then I just unplug it. I, I don't There are no things for ejecting or whatever. You just unplug it. And that's it, the little symbol, the wee kind of um, musical note disappears, and that's it. And that's it, you, sh you should then be able to rattle through all your different sounds, and that's it. That that's how you update your Blair Digital Chanter. Uh, any other questions, just leave them below, and I'll try my best to help anyone out if, if, if you're really struggling. Again, Murray's really great. I think Murray's on holiday. At the time of making this uh, video, uh, I think Murray is having a wee break, which is well deserved, I would say. So, uh, message me just now or I'll leave a comment. And if I can't help you, Murray definitely can. So, yes, hope that was uh, nice and clear, and I'll see you in the next video.